Welcome to Monoprice. My name is Curtis and today we're going to be introducing and setting up your new Monoprice Mini Deluxe SLA printer for the first time. The first thing you'll want to do before assembling your new printer is read the manual. As cliche as it may sound, many of the errors that can occur with the unit can be avoided by reading the manual first. Because SLA printers use a UV reactive resin and a UV light to print, it is completely different from a standard filament 3D printer. It will be necessary to familiarize yourself with Creation Workshop software, how to adjust and place print files, supports, and adhesion methods. Now that we've read the manual, let's go ahead and lay out all of our components to ensure we have received all the package contents. Inside the package, you will find the SLA printer, full enclosure hood, AC power cord, replacement vat film, a plastic spatula, one pair of latex gloves, hex wrench, cleaning container, 250 milliliter bottle of UV resin material, a USB drive, and the user manual. To get a little familiar with the unit, on the front we have a 5.5 inch color LCD touchscreen. On top we have a 5.5 inch IPS LCD curing screen which is used to cure the resin with UV light. On each side of the unit you will find cooling fans. Then alongside the Z-axis anti-wobble guide system there is a photoelectric and stop switch. Behind the unit, you have an opening for air ventilation, a USB port, the AC power socket, and the power switch. The first step in the process is to level the bed. We're going to attach the included vat and tighten down each side of the vat using the supplied screws, but be cautious not to over tighten these screws. Now go ahead and attach the build plate to the printer by inserting the threaded screw cap to the top of the build plate and tighten the screw, but leave about five millimeters of thread showing. Go ahead and attach the build plate to the Z-axis build plate holder, ensuring the grooved sides face towards the printer and tighten down the screw. Here we can loosen up the four screws connected to the build plate platform. Be sure the plate can move freely as the leveling process can cause damage to the LCD screen if the build plate does not move freely. With the build plate attached and moving freely, we can power on the unit. On the front LCD screen, to level the bed, you will select Utilities and then select level and you will be prompted on the screen to verify the build plate is able to move freely. Press next and the machine will begin moving to the home position. Once the unit has reached the limit switch, the machine head will stop. Now, with firm pressure, push down on the build plate and tighten up each screw until the plate has been secured. It is important that the bed covers the LCD screen completely. From here, we can now fill up the vat with the resin. When filling the vat with resin, make sure to put on your latex gloves. Please note that printing does not consume a large amount of resin, so filling the vat one-fourth of the way should be enough for a medium-sized print. However, a print project cannot be paused and resumed, so it is okay to be a little generous when filling the vat because it is better to have extra resin and recycle any leftover in IPA rubbing alcohol. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your new Monoprice Mini Deluxe SLA printer. We hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Curtis with Monoprice. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out monoprice.com for 3D printing products and support. My name is Curtis and today we're going to be introducing you and setting up your new Monoprice. <laughs> Because SLA printers use UV resisted, reactive, not resistive, my bad. <clears throat> Press OK and the machine will begin moving to the home position. View of the plate lowering. Why the hell did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>